everybody. So I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I also have like three items from Target <laughs> I'm going to show you because it goes along with the same trend of organization. I am on a mission to organize my house. I am a clutter bug, messy, chaotic person. And I am so trying to change that. That was one of my goals for the New Year's, just to get organized, get rid of junk and clutter. Um, as you can see, I have clutter right here. Let's just hide it. But, um, so I'm just on a mission to get organized and have a less chaotic life. So um, let's just get started. I'm going to show you the first two things from Target. So we can just move on with that and get out of the way. So one of my biggest areas I want to tackle is my kitchen. I want to make it more functional and utilize the space better because I have excellent cabinet space, but I just don't utilize it right. And so I bought some things to help me better utilize my cabinet space. So the first things, I actually got three of these. Um, one I've already put to use because I just couldn't wait to film this haul before I put it to use. Um, but these are just Lazy Susans. They're just plastic and they have rubber on top to keep things from sliding around and they just twist around. I mean, super easy. And these were really affordable. They're like $5.99 at Target. Are they the most amazing quality? No, I mean, they're plastic. But they work and they function right and they help, they help, they help my cabinets. <laughs> so I am going to do a video um, and film me kind of going through and reorganizing my cabinets and show you like a before and after. Um, so you guys can see how I utilize the things I'm about to show you in this video. Last thing from Target, this was my big ticket item. Um, it was expensive, it was like $39. But this is going to make my life so much happier. I just know it. I just know it. <laughs> Nothing is more frustrating because I'm short. And the cabinet above my stove, when I try and open it up and pick out the spices I want to get, everything falls down on me. It's just, it's frustrating. And I, I don't like it. <laughs> So I got this spice organizer. This is the Chef's Edition Spice Stack. There are two different sizes. I got the bigger one that holds up to 30 spices. And I think there's another one that holds up to 20 and it's cheaper. But I got the Big Daddy size because, yeah, we got a lot of spices. My husband is a spicy man and he likes a lot of different spices. So um, I got that. Happy. Yay. <laughs> so I will take you along with me when I go through and start organizing my kitchen. Now on to the Dollar Tree. So I will show you the organization stuff from the Dollar Tree first. And then I have some stuff for like the kids Easter baskets and things like that. So let's move into it. Let's do this. Got some organizing things. And I like this color green. For some reason it just seems bright and cheery. And it's all, this isn't like stuff I have sitting out on my counter. It's stuff that's underneath places. And the brightness in the dark areas when I open the cabinet, it seems to just bring life. I don't know. It does something. <laughs> they have a multiple different colors. So exciting. Some ice cube trays. Our fridge broke a while back, and then so we got um, a hand-me-down fridge, which is awesome because fridges are expensive. But so we don't have an ice maker like we used to, which is fine. But now we can make ice on our own. Snazzy. <laughs> Alright, then I got two of these little wire baskets. These you can use for everything. These are just little metal white wire baskets. And my plan is to get some command hooks and just kind of hook these onto the inside of my cabinet so that way I could put like sponges and things like that that I don't want hanging out on top of the sink that look just gross. I can hide them away in a functional little thing underneath the cabinet. So, got those. I'm excited. I will link a few of my favorite like organizing channels and Dollar Tree haul people down below. If you just type in Dollar Tree organization hauls and things like that, or Dollar Tree DIYs and things like a plethora, you'll hit a jackpot of videos from amazing women who have just genius ideas. All right. Next thing I got some of these stacking bins. I have a couple stacking bins from the Dollar Tree already underneath my sink. But the, the ones I have before are kind of a little bit more narrow, where these are big so I can fit a lot of stuff in there, just kind of stack whatever I need to. They have multiple colors of these, but like I said, something about the green, it just, green seems clean to me. <laughs> and it's bright and cheery, and yes, so I got two of those. Um, I, did went, I did go back to the Dollar Tree today to look for more of these, but they didn't have any, so 
Next time I'm there, if I see them, I will grab more because I love these. These are so great and so functional for underneath the sink and just it, it helps to organize under there. All right, another area of my home that I want to organize is the hall closet. It's just like a collect-all for everything. Everything just ends up in there and it's just a cluttered mess. So I got a couple of these baskets I thought I could use to put on one of the shelves, maybe to organize some of the smaller things that don't just need to be hanging out, like extra body washes and lotions and things like that. And they could have a home inside these baskets. So I got two of those little baskets. The next things, I saw, I've seen these on so many people's videos um, to organize their pantry and their food, dry goods and things like that. And I just would have never thought to use these for that, but they're fabulous for that, to utilize the space and make it so it's easy to pull out things. And they're just these little dishwashing bins. Um, I believe, yeah, it's a dish pan. So people use these to wash dishes where you can use these. I got six of them, right? Yeah, six of them. So you can just use these inside your cabinet. You can use a dry erase marker to mark what's inside, like dry goods, you know, beans, rice, things like that. And rather than having to sort through all these things, you could just easily pull out the bin, find what you're looking for, put it back in, you're nice and organized. Things don't get shuffled around and messed up, so I'm so excited to put these to use. So I, I might film right away, like I might be going to my kitchen right after this video and start filming me organizing things. And so I will have a video like that up very soon. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, so if so, let me know. If you guys are like, no, I don't want to see that, you can let me know that too. <laughs> so I got six of those to start with. I imagine I'll be probably going back to get more because they just seem like they're going to be such a great thing to help organize my pantry. Even like the hall closet, these would be good. They're just, huh, I like it. I'm really excited. And I also got some dry erase markers, so that way I could also write on those little bins to say what's inside, so I could just easily pull it out. And since I'm short, I could have them up on the top thing and just pull it out. It's going to make my life easier, so I got those for those bins. I got two packs of hangers for Ryan. He has like a plethora of clothes, and he gets so many hand-me-downs, so he always has like so much stuff. So we're utilizing the closet space a lot more and using hangers to hang up all his clothes. So I got a couple more packs of those. I got a couple little bins also for the cabinet or like pantry to store maybe like nuts and things like that. Um, they, I have seen people show bigger ones of these. I really wanted bigger ones, but my Dollar Tree didn't have them. So I got these small ones to start off with. So things that come in loose bags that are more likely to get shuffled and jumbled up in the cabinet so I could just pour like the almonds and raisins and things like that inside these little containers and they're cute they have little handles they're functional and I think they came in two colors the white lid or the blue lid so I got three of those <laughs> to start off with and I, I have a feeling I will get more of these but next time I go to the Dollar Tree I want to see if they have the big ones so that way I could store bigger items like cereal and things like that or pasta, you know, whatever. I got three of those to start off with and they seem like they're pretty good quality. They are BPA free in case you guys are curious. Something I got from the Dollar Tree which I'm just like amazed that I got for a dollar and it works so good. Da, 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 da. It's a broom and there's hair on it. Gross. <laughs> so oh, I got this broom and it's actually a really good angle and it's a really good density and it just actually works really well and it's for a dollar. I also got a dustpan and it has a nice like rubber lip there so that way it actually gets the stuff you're trying to sweep up off the floor into the dustpan. So I'm super excited that these dustpan and broom work awesomely. Especially since it's a dollar each. Like where if I went to Safeway, Walmart, or somewhere like that, I would have spent like $10 for a set or something. So yay! And it works good. So woohoo! A pair of cleaning gloves or dish gloves because I've never owned any and they're so functional like why is it taking me until I'm 30 to realize hey you should get some dish gloves it's gonna save your hands from doing dishes and it's so nice for cleaning the house because you're not getting anything on your hands and drying it out so dish gloves and they're pink alright everything else I believe is for the kids Easter Easter stuff <laughs> I already have some Easter baskets because I save their things every year because why well, throw it out and just reuse it. But I saw that they had these cute just little plastic woven baskets and they work good for playing in the sand as well and bringing our sand toys to the park. So I got some. I got a blue and a pink one. 
I have a boy and a girl, <laughs> in case you guys didn't know. Um, so, one for each of them. I got some of the Palmer's Milk Chocolate Easter Bunnies. A thing of Easter colored sixlets. Um, then, I got them each a little flashlight pin. Um, princesses for Ella. It's cute. It has a little flashlight at the top and it's a little pin, so um, if they want to color in their diary journal at night, they don't, I mean, they don't really write to it, but you know, they can write their name <laughs> um, or color, and if they need a flashlight, then there you go. And I got Ryan a Spider-Man one. I just thought they were cute and they would enjoy those. Oops, one thing I forgot about. I got a pill organizer, and I love this because it has um, the days of the week and it has a morning, noon, and night. And I take a pill called metformin, which you have to take three times a day to control my blood sugar. <laughs> so this is perfect for me. And I really like that they're color coded and you can pop out each day. So if you want to, if you go to work like I do, I could just pop out this one blue one and take it with me. And there's still the whole case together. So yes. All right, so all right, now back to Easter. Um, I got them each one of these little light up balls a pink one and a blue one and they light up okay yeah they both light up they're cute and filled with water you know kids love these things <laughs> and then inside I got I would have got pink if they had any but they didn't um, but it's just the Easter grass so a yellow and a green so that way I could tuck all their Easter presents into their Easter basket and make it look pretty okay and then I got a ton more Easter stuff let me show you these first these are, I mean, they're obviously big to fit into their Easter basket, but I think with just quite enough stuff stuffed in there, I could have it standing up. And these are just two, two really big bubble wands. <laughs> so that way, when it's no longer a frozen ice castle winter wonderland outside, we can blow some bubbles. So yay. And they're cute. They'll like them. Now, I really didn't need any other, like, plastic Easter eggs, but these ones were so cute. I just had to get them. So they came in a pack of three, and these are little, like, chicks. And they're clear, and they look... They're adorable. And they're huge, so you can fit, like, a ton of stuff inside. Super cute. I thought the kids would just get a kick out of those. And I also got the pink bunnies. Same kind of style. Once again, the kids are going to get a kick out of them. They're going to love them. And they're big so that, you know, it can help the little guys find the Easter eggs better. <laughs> we do an Easter egg hunt with the cousins and my poor kids, they just, <laughs> they get stomped every year. But so at least at home, the Easter egg hunt here, they'll collect lots of eggs, right? And these ones are cute, kind of the same idea, but they're little carrots. Adorable. So I got those. And then I got these little tiny baby uh, yellow chick ones. Uh, because they're just cute, and these are a pack of eight. I just thought they were so cute. So, yay! Some other little things to throw along in their Easter egg basket. I got them both these little carrot jump ropes. They're cute. <laughs> so I got little yellow and a little 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 pink one. I can't even speak. Yellow and a pink one for Ella. <laughs> and I also saw these little bubble sticks in their Easter theme. Um, it's a, it comes with a pack of four of them, so they'll each get two. Lastly, is this all? This is all. Um, I got um, some chalk because chalk is actually kind of expensive, and I'm hoping these work out okay. Um, so for a dollar, I figured I'd go ahead and try it. And it's non-toxic chalk. It comes with 20 of them. So we'll give it a go and see if it works. And then these I totally forgot. Um, whenever I go to the Dollar Tree, I usually go after I drop off my son to school because there's a big Dollar Tree by his school. And then so Ella is always with me. And she always has to pick out some kind of little goodie treat. So she picked out these little tiny ponies. Um, so that was her treat for today for being good at the Dollar Tree. She got some little ponies. <laughs> All right, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. and few things from Target. So organization, Easter, stuff like that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in seeing like a before and after and during the organizing process, like 
cleaning out like spices and reorganizing the spice cabinet, the food cabinet, pantry, all that stuff. If you want to see that, let me know. Just give this video a thumbs up or something or tell me in the comments. And if you enjoy these type of videos like the Dollar Tree hauls, please let me know in the comments as well so I know to keep doing them. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.